What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie and nice to meet you. New year, new me, you know what I mean? Just kidding. But if you are new, welcome. I make videos Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Trying to make it a resolution and hopefully I stick to it. I did upload on Monday, but this is actually the very first video I sit down and film for you guys in a really long time because I didn't even sit down in December to film casual videos. I did vlog miss throughout the whole month, which you guys were quite supportive. So thank you so much for watching. I genuinely enjoyed sharing those memories with you guys, even though it was a little bit stressful, not gonna lie, especially uploading every single day, but it was fun nonetheless and I appreciate you guys. This intro is getting a little bit too long, but I hope you guys have an amazing 2018 full of blessings, success, health, wealth. Let's get started. Let's start with makeup products. My top favorite foundation of the year has to go to the Fenty Beauty Foundation. This honestly blew my mind away on how amazing it is. I used it probably every single day and I am completely done and over with. I don't always finish foundations like that because I have so many, like way too many, and I don't get to finish them since I do alternate. But this one I used so much that I actually finished the whole entire bottle. This actually brings a lot of products, so you can already tell how much I used it. But let's give you guys a little mini review, even though I did film a review on it, which I'll link down below with a demo and stuff. I love the pump, love the coloring love how long lasting it is at least for me for my oily skin it's a medium to matte if you are dry skin it's going to be way too matte I've heard but for me it gives me a like satin finish not necessarily super matte but just like a beautiful natural on your skin finish it is beyond beyond full coverage like today I had to force a dot of it and put it right here in my nose because I have I don't know if it's like a cold like it's too cold outside so I have like a blister here point is this covered it completely it's just a beautiful beautiful foundation I'm definitely repurchasing it once I go downtown again to Sephora then I have two other foundations let me show you guys a drugstore because I figured why not the other one it's also high-end but my favorite drugstore foundation aside from the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow which I mentioned in my last Yearly favorites of 2016, I think. This one was amazing this year. It's the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir. I use it in 757 right now in golden tan and it's just beautiful i love the fact that it has a pump the color range is also nice it has 20 spf it's lightweight oil free and it gives you more of a dewy finish so if you are dry skin this is going to be amazing if you're oily skin it just gives you a natural beautiful finish to your skin so i really like it it's also super full coverage and then one that reminds me a lot of the fancy even though this one is still low-key my favorite it's the estee lauder double wear stay in place makeup foundation this is such a full coverage foundation it's an amazing foundation to wear to events because it just blurs everything and it gives you that not necessarily caked face but it gives you that flawless foundation finish to your skin which the Fenty also does. I hate mentioning two products at the same time because I tend to compare both. They're all amazing for different reasons, but I do love the like wear of the Estee Lauder because it's super, super, super long lasting. I am in the shade Toasty Toffee for W2. Uh, it doesn't have a pump, but they do sell a pump separately. That's the only con that I would have to say about it. The fact that, oh, whoa, did I just break this? Did I just break this? <gasps> oh, what a way to start the year, Natalie. <sighs> you know, one of my resolutions is not letting things face me, so that's not gonna face me. Point is, amazing foundation, Estee Double Wear. Powder has to go to the one that I've used for probably every tutorial, and it's the Laura Infallible Pro Matte in 600. This is such an amazing powder to set your face or to even use as a foundation, like a powder foundation. I don't necessarily use it for that, but I do set it lightly um, over the foundation. Basically, it helps with my oily skin and stay the foundation in place. And it just makes the foundation a lot more long lasting as well. I also use a darker shade, I believe it's 700, to contour or like a bronzer. I usually do that with powders, like I get a darker shade as bronzer. Pro tip, because it usually just blends really, really nicely since it is a powder foundation. Highlight, I wanted to share to a drugstore and a high end, but this one is hands down my top favorite i've used the heck out of this this year i still haven't hit pan but it does have a dent in it it's super long lasting like it's going to last a long time i mean in general highlights 
is one of the most long lasting products to me because you don't necessarily need to use a lot to give you a nice glow you know this one is from Estee Lauder it's the bronze goddess heat wave highlight it has like a gold with rose gold in between if that makes any sense so it's nice in all skin colors but in my tan skin it looks so nice and I'm obsessed with it. Drugstore alternative and favorite of mine is the Sleek Makeup Highlighting Palette. This one is the Cleopatra Kiss and it has four shades, so two powders and two creams. I don't necessarily use the creams. I don't really like cream highlights, but these two are beautiful. The bottom one, it's more of a pink pearly shade and then the top is my top favorite because it reminds me a lot of the Heat Wave. It's just a beautiful beautiful gold highlight and it blends really really nicely on the skin so if you get a chance to get these in your hands do it mascara i have three to share with you guys i'm really picky when it comes to mascara i love volume and separation but most of all volume like i like it to be caked on basically the more volume the better you know what i mean this one has to be my top favorite out of all and it's drugstore it's the l'oreal lash paradise voluminous mascara this was my ride and die the sheer the waterproof formula it's amazing as well but it's super hard to take off so just keep that in mind you know it's nice to wear it to the beach and stuff but not every day i haven't been using this in a long time because i don't have the carbon black one and i haven't found it in stores yet but i have two alternatives that have been my favorite recently like for the past few months of the year this one is the Ciate Wonderland mascara when I tell you guys this mascara is all volume is all volume this is such an amazing mascara for volume and separation so basically my two favorite things in one and I love the wand love the fact that it's super black and it gives you so so much volume so top fave. I think I mentioned this one of my last monthly favorites. It's a recent favorite of mine but it's also really similar to the Wonderland and the L'Oreal one because it's super volumizing but also gives uh, but it also gives separation. The packaging first and foremost pretty vulgar really actually wins at packaging when it comes to makeup because holy cow do they put so much detail into this. It's rose gold and white and it has like a little birdcage shape thing and then that's what the wand looks like it's a little dense not gonna lie it's not necessarily like my top favorite shape because i do get some in my lower lash line i guess it's not necessarily meant for the lower lash line but i just remove it with a q-tip and it works just fine i just love the formula of this mascara and it's super black as well all right we're almost done eyeshadows this year i feel like i have to give it to marc jacobs beauty because these eyeshadows are to die for it's just really compact and easy to travel with and the shades are so perfect to blend this one is one of my favorites it's called glambition so it's just really neutral it has a brown black and some like nice light shades right here it's like the perfect everyday kind of palette and then another favorite of mine is editorial which has some pretty green and a really pretty gold one in the middle as well i just really love the formula of these eyeshadows and the pigmentation is to die for like a little bit goes a long way top top favorite though had to go to the tarlet toasted palette this right here i feel like screams my name it's every single shade that i would go for in general it has like orangey shades and it, i feel it's the perfect palette to travel with as well this is what I took to my Europe trip, like the only palette, and it worked just fine. It's amazing for every day, or if you just want to vamp it up and make it a smoky eye with that shade. I think this is definitely a must. The mirror in this, it's also pretty cool and great when you travel, so I like it. And then lip products are mostly nude. What a shocker, what a shocker. I was actually going to wear a nude lipstick today, and I was like, you know what, Natalie? New year, new you. So I went for a reddish shade that matches perfectly with my dress why not All right so i'm going to start with my low-key top favorite because i am obsessed with the formula of these lipsticks these are the matte retro matte liquid lipsticks my top favorite shade is burnt spice i also love a burgundy shade that they have and a purpley shade and a brown one that's like choco teas or something i basically love the whole entire collection not gonna lie but my favorite one it's burnt spice because it's a beautiful nude shade and that's what it looks like. I'm going to try to swatch all of them for you guys. It's basically like a peachy nude shade. I'm not describing the nude ones because they're, they all look the same. Another formula that I love in liquid lipsticks. I use mostly liquid lipsticks. This one is Stila in uh, Sockno. This one is a little bit more on the gray side of the nudes, if you know what I mean. So that's what that looks like right there. 
also love the Jouer formula. These are so comfortable and super long lasting on the lips. They don't crack or anything like that on, which I love. It's pretty similar to the Burnt Spice in a way. That's what it looks like. It has a difference, but it's still all pretty similar. I told you guys. Since those are all tie-in, I wanted to share my favorite drugstore liquid lipsticks, which were the Stay Matte Liquid Lipsticks from Rimmel. My favorite one, nude-wise, is Rosetto Liquido, I think. This one is more of a light nude compared to the rest that I showed you guys. And then I also love the shade in... Oh no, never mind. Wow. All right, never mind. The actual shade is Mocha. And then the plum shade is called Midnight, which is a beautiful dark plum purple color not plum. You know what I mean. Last but not least, makeup wise, is this setting spray from Urban Decay, the all-nighter one. It's so amazing. It just really, really, really sets your face and it makes it last a lot longer. I just, I love how like it basically syncs everything together in a way, you know? I guess that's what a setting spray is supposed to do. Oh, I almost forgot. These have been my top favorite lashes this year. I mean, Ardell has always been a top favorite for everyone, but the Demi Wispies I've been using non-stop this year because last year, you guys you guys already know i went a lot with the just lashes and no liquid liner trend and it worked amazing with these because they're so easy to apply and make it look super super natural so i like these a lot skincare hair care and miscellaneous random things let's jump right into deodorant super random i actually had a hard time finding the perfect deodorant that worked for me as funny as that sounds because there's so many out there but trust me, I tried a lot and not many work. This one was a winner and has been the winner for some time now. And it's the Degree Motion Scents. I use the Sexy Intrigued uh, scent. That You don't have to use that scent, but that's the one that I've been using and it, it smells good. Point is, this actually works. So if you're looking for a new deodorant, I definitely recommend it. If you have other deodorant recommendations, let me know in the comments below because I like switching them from time to time. It's like shampoo for me. I like switching it because if you use something for too long, it stops working on you. Happens a lot of times. Hair products, I've used a lot of shampoos and conditioners last year. I mean, a lot. And I've loved many. I still use them and I still love them. But this one has been my favorite recently. For like the past few months and it just it just keeps working amazing it smells amazing i feel like i love it the most low-key because of the fact that the scent stays on for so long throughout the week i don't wash my hair every single day i wash it like every two to three days is that tmi i don't know but i don't like washing it every single day because on top of that my hair looks better the second day and i'm going i'm going on the rent right now this is the hair food line from clairol and i use the color care conditioner and shampoo Works great to take care of your black hair or blonde hair or any sort of hair dye, you know? Like, it actually makes your hair color last a lot longer. It has a bunch of pros here, which I'm not going to go too in depth with, but it's silicone-free, paraben-free, mineral oil-free, dye-free, gluten-free, and it smells amazing. Did I mention that? It also leaves your hair super shiny in a way. I don't know if it's necessarily, like, the hair shampoo. And I've also been loving, also from Hair Food, the Moisture Hair Mask. This is amazing. I feel like it's what's been giving my hair so much shine. Another one of my my favorites which i've mentioned many times before it's the l'oreal five in one hair mask that is an amazing amazing mask but point is i've been using this one and loving it a lot i'm not sure if i mentioned this on my last yearly favorites but this is a must and it's a lifesaver for many people for people that have gray hair for people that don't want to dye their hair consistently it just works amazing especially if you have blonde hair i feel like it's actually going to be a lot more useful for me i use it in case i have like sparse hair like right there you know or when i do a ponytail and you have these little spaces it's pretty cool it's a lifesaver i i don't even think i mentioned the name it's the laurel root cover up and i use it in black again they have a large range of colors to use like a bunch of blondes and a bunch of browns and all that stuff and i think also like weird color skincare products i don't have as many as i wish i did because i loved many skincare products but the products that i mentioned on my monthly favorites last year have been and are still my favorites so i'm just going to show you guys the ones that really really came up to mind when i was choosing the products to share with you first has to go to the l'oreal clay mask i've used like three jars of this which is impressive i don't usually run out of masks like that because i have way too many 
like way too many but this one is the one that I've gone back to way too many times I'm almost done with this one as you can see I just love it it really purifies and cleans and takes out all the junk out of your face like you can see it on especially around the nose area it's my favorite I don't have much to say about it if you really want to purify your skin definitely use this to remove my makeup two new products from 2017 that I've been loving are from Garnier the skin active line mineral foaming cleanser and the mineral makeup removing wipes these are basically drenched in the actual micellar cleansing water works amazing it actually removes every single thing from your face it's super gentle it removes even waterproof mascara which is a lot to say and like I mentioned I've also been loving the cleanser not much to say about it it's basically the micellar cleansing water in a cleanser formula it removes your makeup really nicely it just really cleans your skin and it's great for all skin types now for acne something that blew my mind away was the Peter Tumith Roth acne clear invisible dots the blemish treatment that's what it looks like they're basically little sticker dots that you apply where you have acne and it removes it instantly like really really fast the next morning you won't have the pimple anymore or it'll just bring it out and then by the second day it'll be completely gone which to me it works the fastest from everything that I've used. The only con that I have to say about this because it's so strong, it does leave somewhat of a residue of the circle. And then on top of that, it kind of sort of leaves an acne mark. Not super aggressive, but since it does work on the acne so fast, it leaves a mark a little bit sometimes. So just keep that in mind. It works though. It works amazing. Last but not least has to go to my most used product of the year, and it is Tender Romance Perfume from Ralph Lauren. Guys, I've gone through like three bottles of this and it is the best perfume I've used in a really long time. It lasts a long time during the day and I've gotten so many compliments every time I use this. It's one of those perfumes that it's like romantic, sweet, but sexy at the same time. Definitely just go and sniff it one day and you'll see what I mean. I feel like the most impressive thing is how long lasting it actually is because it still blows my mind every time. So I wasn't gonna show you guys my music favorites but... I'll show you guys my favorites for some the second. I don't want nobody else with you. Ooh, I, I, she like, what's up, what's up with me? Yeah. Baby, I just don't know what to do. Oh, 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 oh. I don't want nobody else with you. Ooh, I, I, Hold on, hold on. Fuck that. Fuck that shit. Listen, seeing you got ritual listed. I should from miles away. I'm jealous, I'm overzealous When I'm down, I get real down When I'm high, I don't come down But I get angry, baby, believe me I can love you just like that And I can leave you just as fast song of the year for me. Listen, I'm not going to 
gonna show this pasito, but this was my song the summertime. music favorites also let me know some playlist ideas because more of those videos are coming very soon i hope you have an amazing new year subscribe if you haven't already and see you next time bye my mom got me an orchid for my birthday let's just hope this actually lasts this time because i usually kill them like in less than a month which is pretty sad so but i love them so thank you so much mom like pro fix uh filter filter you know what my hair is not cooperating today so we're just going to deal with what we have and move past it i'm trying to be as careless as possible this year about everything and my hair is one of them so this has been my favorite <laughs>